YouTubes. I'm doing a little talk today on two-stroke oil ratios and carbon buildup, basically. So, recently, my KE250 uh, well, I can actually show you the seal. That's the oil that I'm using. It's uh, API TC, which is air cooled two strokes. And I lost part of the oil injector. So, this is for the tachometer. Um, cable just goes in here and this has a seal in it yeah that really small seal that went bad so I put Q bond on it and that that held but I was screwing this uh, I don't know I was doing something with it at one point and it finished the crack and broke um, so I'm gonna JB weld the oil injector so that I know that it's open all the time but it probably is because it kind of rubs there which you can't see but so recently I run 32 to 1 premix I've always done that and then I put the injector on and see it was leaking and I put our TV here and I kind of stopped it so this has been stuck open this had 32 to 1 in it Right now it has some random mix, it has like a quarter liter in there or so. Something like that. I don't know if I can tell how much is in here. Probably that much. Because I couldn't find that mixing container. But anyway, enough of this crap. Here's the spark plug. Running on that rich mixture. Now, a few, before this happened I took the plug out. And it had black carbon caked all over it. And now look at it. It just has like an oil on it. And some carbon on here, which is actually coming off somewhat. And that's just from having more oil. That's the plug that has been firing. I'm going to take the other one out just to see how it looks. I've read an article online about this, and it says. Basically, on more oil, you have less and less carbon buildup in the engine. Um, it appeared to me that they had more spark plug fouling, but in this experience, I don't believe that. Now, here's what this plug has. See, has oil on one side and carbon on the other. But before, this had carbon all around. I bet you, look at that, carbon just came right off. So, I don't know, I'm just going to keep running it like this. And even with extensive periods of idling and stuff, it just keeps getting less and less carbon. So, I can't see inside the engine right now, but it probably has less carbon. It's kind of working its way clean. But uh, I recently, well, there's a little chip there, which is just great. <laughs> I recently painted these, and they look pretty decent. And when I'm riding, they look like they're new. And it's just, I don't know, it just looks great. And I painted this too. It has dirt on it or something, but, so that looks pretty nice. And, you know, this just makes huge clouds of smoke everywhere I go now, basically. And the engine is getting cleaner, and I know it's well lubricated and everything. So I'm going to start it up and show you how much smoke it makes. Uh, maybe I'll drive it up and down the road, I don't know. Yeah, this is kind of a cold start. The engine is cold, but it's not real cold. I know it's running a little while ago. But I'll just show you how much it smokes, I guess.
Mm-hmm.